From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Want a Northway Bank teller to keep in your pocket? There's an app for that. Now available for iPhone and Android. Download yours today. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Family and friends are remembering Ian Meserve of Center Conway, who died Sunday, surrounded by his family of melanoma cancer. He was 44. Born in Portland, Maine, Ian graduated from Gray New Gloucester High School in 1987 and attended the University of Southern Maine. He began working at North Conway's Cranmore Mountain Resort in 1990 and moved his family to the Valley four years later, eventually becoming a race coach for the Cranmore race team. Cranmore President and General Manager Ben Wilcox calls Ian a standout individual. Touched so many children that went through the Cranmore race program. Touched so many of his fellow coaches that he worked with, along with many of the race parents. His influence and energy absolutely felt all the time when he was here and was an inspiration to many people. Outside of the race program, his energy spread to the whole mountain. Truly a Cranmore ambassador, part of the family, and he really did a lot for the mountain. I'm absolutely proud that I was able to work with him here at Cranmore. Ian was also an assistant golf professional at the North Conway Country Club, an assistant coach for the Kennett High School football team, a baseball umpire, and hockey player and official. He was a fan of the New England Patriots, the Boston Red Sox, and the Boston Bruins. Ian enjoyed skiing with his son Grant, who survives him in Mount Washington's Tuckerman Ravine and in Austria. He's also survived by his wife Holly, his mother and stepfather, and several other relatives. Visitation will take place tomorrow night at Ferber and White Funeral Home in North Conway from 6 to 8 o'clock. A massive Christian burial will be celebrated Thursday morning at 11 o'clock at Our Lady of the Mountains Church in North Conway. A private burial service will be held at the Conway Village Cemetery. A reception will immediately follow at Cranmore. The public's invited to a ribbon-cutting ceremony this afternoon at Memorial Hospital in North Conway to celebrate its newly renovated emergency department. Memorial President and CEO Scott McKinnon will be joined at the ceremony by the Executive Director of the Mount Washington Valley Chamber of Commerce, Janice Crawford, and other hospital officials. McKinnon says the changes include a redesign of the emergency entrance and enhancements to the waiting room area and new patient rooms and the introduction of express care service for those patients who don't require critical care. We have lots of different people that come to the ED with lots of different levels of need depending on how serious their injury or illness is. What this allows, it separates out folks that have a serious injury or illness from those that have minor injury and illness so that it really expedites the throughput and access time for patients. So if you have a minor injury or illness, you're not necessarily waiting in a larger queue if you would. The express care is aimed at getting people that have minor injury and illness expedited quickly through ED experience. The ribbon cutting ceremony this afternoon will be followed by a walkthrough tour of the emergency department and refreshments. The ceremony starts at 4.30. In Maine News, Governor Paul LePage will get a first-hand look at fire damage in his native Lewiston. The governor is visiting Lewiston today to tour damaged buildings after three fires destroyed nine buildings and left more than 180 people homeless. The governor says he's familiar with the buildings and the neighborhood from his youth. In sports, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats were beaten 11-6 by the New Britain Rock Cats yesterday in Manchester. The Portland Sea Dogs edged the Reading Fightin' Phils 4-3 in Portland. The main Sports Hall of Fame has 10 new members, including former NASCAR driver Ricky Craven and former Secretary of Defense William Cohen. The Red Sox rallied past the Minnesota Twins 6-5 in 11 innings last night. And the Bruins bounce back from defeat to uh, bounce back to defeat the Toronto Maple Leafs 5-2 last night. Game 4 is tomorrow night in Toronto with the Bruins leading 2-1 in the best of seven series. In the weather today, sunny, highs the upper 70s. Light winds becoming southwest around 10 miles per hour this afternoon. Clear tonight, lows in the mid 40s. Southwest winds around 10 in the evening becoming light and sunny in the morning Wednesday, then partly cloudy with a chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 70s. From the Northwood Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.